Well, hello and welcome. Uh, we are working on this video series entitled Where in the World is Pastor Pete? as we talk a little bit about the ministries and the work of uh, Reveille Church. And I am really excited to be here today at Swansboro Elementary uh, with Ellen Ficker. Ellen is the site coordinator at Swansboro Elementary School. Uh, for the communities in schools. Did I get that right? Yes. All right. And uh, um, we are excited to be a part of her work and a part of the many things she does in the city of Richmond and in the public schools. And I'm just real excited to spend some time with you here today. So, Ellen, would you talk a little bit about kind of what you do and how you work in the local schools and the difference it makes for some of those kids? Sure. So, um, I work at Swansboro Elementary, where we are now. It's a Title I elementary school on the south side of Richmond. Um, and I'm the site coordinator with Communities and Schools. Our role is to provide wraparound support services for students and families. Um, so basically just any kind of extra needs and gaps that there are in the school, um, I kind of come along and try to figure out how to fill them. So. Um, a lot of that is working with volunteers and partners like Reveille, um, using donations and support services and volunteer services to support the students at school. Um, and I also manage a caseload of 55 students wow. um, who I meet with them um, in non-COVID times. I would meet with them in one-on-one uh, -on -one and in small groups at school. Uh -huh. um, now I'm meeting with them virtually or doing porch visits, um, but basically just providing community referrals and resources and extra support, um, both inside and outside of school for a caseload of students. It sounds like you are there in all the details and all the things that need to be taken care of and uh, that really are just so essential and important. Um, you know, uh, Ellen, one of the things that uh, we're talking about in our church over these weeks is we're asking ourselves, are we making a difference? Um, it is our prayer that we as Reveille Church will be making an impact on the Richmond community. We want to know that the, the community is different because we're here. And I, it'd be helpful for us if you could just to say a word about any the difference Reveille is making for you and for the Swansboro and for the community. Sure. Swansboro um, is greatly impacted uh, by Reveille's commitment and um, dedication to being a part of the school. You guys have actually been here long before I have, so uh -huh. sure. <laughs> you've had a partnership with Swansboro, I think for over 20 years. Something like that. Um, but in the past three years, um, this is my fourth year working at Swansboro. Um, Reveille has made it possible for my role here to be full-time. Uh -huh. So this role, um, when I first began in 2017, was just a part-time role. And Reveille came in um, and kind of made up the other half of that uh, ability to go full-time. So I've been here now for three years full-time. Wow. And have been able to expand the number of families that I've been working with and students and expand the number of services and donations that I'm providing um, and yeah just do what I do Amen. double. <laughs> I, you know Ellen I was so moved we were in a a Zoom call a couple weeks ago, and you were just telling the way you were in one home and helping set up computer networks. You were in another home solving this problem, another home dealing with these school supplies, and I just was so impressed with the way you were so present to take care of so many little details behind the scenes that really made a difference, because that stuff has to happen. Yes. Uh, I would love to hear a story, if you have one, uh, of a, of a life where where the you where you were able to make a difference for somebody uh, that uh, just tell a story absolutely there is a family um, a spanish-speaking family that has really been struggling especially during covid the mom um, has had to stop working to be home with the kids while they're home from school all day um, and the father is actually pretty sick and they um, have a lot of medical bills that they're dealing with um, and so during COVID, they have been having a really hard time making ends meet for rent. Um, and this, the particular student in the household that I work with the most, it has a mentor through Reveille. So oh, yeah. before school closed, um, the mentor would come and work with the student every week and help him um, work on his reading and literacy skills. 
and I just put it out to Reveille, you know, that this family could use some support and they have Reveille um, donated to help cover this family's rent so that wow. they can stay in their home um, wow. during COVID. So that has been a huge support and um, the mentor continues to check in and work with the student virtually um, so that he can still be making progress in his literacy, literacy skills. Um, so that has been, that's the first family that came to mind wow. when you asked that question. That's um, amazing. Hey, yeah. You know, and it's just so special to be able to hear from you, Ellen, and hear about the difference that you are making, most importantly, and the privilege that Reveille has to be, um, to reach into this community in a way that um, is helpful and transformative. And uh, before we close today, I'd like to offer a prayer for your ministry in the schools. Can I do that? Sure, thank you. Lord, I pray for Ellen. I thank you so much for her smile, her laughter, her joy, and the way she is uh, so present in the midst of so many lives. And we're humbled that we at Reveille get to be a part of that. Lord, surround her, guide her, guard her, and equip her as she goes into these homes and into these schools to meet very challenging conditions. Enable her to continue to make a difference in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ellen, thank you so much. It's great to be with you. Thank you.